Who's that? Work. They, um, they said they need me to come in a little early. Is it okay if we celebrate your memory coming back later? Yeah, yeah. Why don't I drive you? No. Okay. You all right? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm totally fine. But would you mind dropping him off at camp for me? Sure, sure. No problem. Great. Okay. So I'll see you later, right? Yes. Okay. Bye. Bye. J.R. Chandler. I have to take this. Yeah. Can you believe him? Colby, J.R.'s just worried about you. We both are. Well, don't keep flipping out, okay? I'm not some raging alcoholic. Okay. But, you know, if there's something else going on with you, I hope you know you can tell me. And one of the reasons why I moved back into the mansion was so I could be closer to you. Really? Colby, I think of you as my little sister. I mean, God, you delivered Jenny. You were there for Mama when I couldn't be there for her. Stop. Stop making me a saint. <laughs> Look, we all make mistakes. I mean, God knows I, I have made tons of them. But please, Colby, you know, if something happened and you're not comfortable talking to JR about it, just know that you can come to me with anything. Okay? Babe. Thanks for the talk. I couldn't ask for a better sister. It's so weird. It's like sitting here, eating breakfast like nothing happened. We have to, Cass. Otherwise... I know. People will get suspicious. It's just... I mean, we took a life. Maybe. We don't know for sure. Yes, we do. You heard what Petey Cortland said. Like, how else would a man's blood end up on Colby's brand new car? Look, nobody else ever has to know about this. But if it comes out, you were never in that car, okay? You or Colby. What are you talking about? Look, we already decided we are in this together. I was driving the car. I was right there with you. No, stop. There's, I'm not going to let you take the fall for this. Look, if it means protecting you, then yeah, Cass, you will. Is it safe? Yeah. Is it safe? Yes, it's safe. And mandatory. Oh, what is the deal? Sit. What's going on? Why, am I going to get scolded? Yeah, probably. Okay. Now, yes, Aiden and I are back together, but that doesn't mean that you have to move out. Well, I, I know, okay. but he already knows okay. that. Okay, nobody's going blog? anywhere. Sure, you we can do this. I want to do this. I want my boyfriend and my friends and my family and my job and... She wants you all, yeah, apparently. Hey, I had a very rough year. I deserve it all. She does. Rough year. I saw that, Martin. <laughs> she doesn't miss a trick. This is the happiest I've been in a long time. My heart is full. My house is full. My life is it's filled up. She's all very full. Can't get any more. And that's how it's going to stay. Hi. Hey. 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 How are you? Good. Good. What, what are you doing here? Same as you. Get some coffee. Just dropped Emma off at camp. So. Oh, camp. Remember that? Remember the days when all that mattered were. Dodgeball and arts <laughs> and crafts. <laughs> Those were the days, huh? Tell me about it. Okay, what's wrong? I thought you haven't talked to Green. No. Why? Did something happen? She went sailing yesterday. Yeah, I know that. Never mind that she was supposed to be at work. Yeah, well, she got knocked unconscious on the boat. Oh my god. Is she okay? Yeah, she's fine now. She's fine. I brought her to shore. You were sailing with her? No, I wasn't. I was at the yacht club hanging out, but I just happened to see her. So. Well, that's, I mean, good. I mean, thank God you were there. Not only for Greenwood, but uh, for me, too, actually. What does that mean? Well, on my way out to get her, I, um, I remember the last four years of my life. It all came back to me. What? Wait, are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive, 100%. Everything is back. Ryan. 
fine. That's amazing. That's amazing. I know. It's, it's great. I mean, it's a little overwhelming right yeah. now. But, you know, I, I need to apologize to you, Kendall, for, for what I did to you, you know, when this all went down. I, I am really, really sorry. No, Brian, honestly, you don't have to apologize. Yes, I do. I have to. Are you kidding me? She never told you that I was still in love with you. She never followed you to L.A. There's probably a lot of things that I should be apologizing for. No, honestly, Those are the things I didn't remember. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. I mean, when you think about it, it's sort of kind of funny. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I know. It's kind of silly, I mean, now that you know that you're in love with Annie. You don't love Annie, do you? Oh, of course. She's not the one who made you get your memory back. Oh my god, Ryan. You're in love with Greenlee. <laughs>